One of the crucial things about your journey of recovery is to invite God into the journey. Ask him if you can partner with him on his plan and his purpose for your life as you continue to heal. You know, I remember one time um, just being on my on my bedroom floor, just crying my heart out, so much pain. And I heard him say to me, tell me how you feel. And I was like, first of all, you know my thoughts while they are yet afar. This mouth was still running, but he kept saying to me, tell me how you feel. So it took a while, but eventually I just started having the conversation and I started telling God everything. I talked about how disappointed I was in the person, how disappointed I was in myself and just everything that was on my mind and that was hurting me. Like I was talking for a minute, right? And then there was some silence once I kept quiet. He didn't say anything and there was just a moment of silence. And just as I began to have a contrary thought, like, well, well was that really God? Or, you know, I just doubted everything. He said to me, I asked you to tell me how you feel so that you could invite me into the moment so that I can be who you need in the moment. I asked you to tell me how you feel because I care about you and I want to hear it from your voice. I want you to talk to me. And what I took away from that is the importance of allowing God into these moments of our lives, you know, shame and regret and especially when we're out of um, out of his will can keep us from inviting God into those moments because we are so riddled with shame. But even in that, he is God. And what it reminded me of is the is the story where Jesus leaves the 99 sheep to go back for that one. It was like that night as I was just pouring my heart out, he came to see about one lost sheep. And listen, there's nothing special about me. If he could do it for me, he certainly can do it for you. But you got to invite him into those moments. Don't allow shame, regret, fear, disappointment to keep you from sharing with him. Invite him, partner with him in your journey of recovery because it's in there that he shows you who he is. And as he reveals his identity to you, he shows you who you are essentially because remember, you're made in his image and in his likeness. And as he does that, what happens is that he shows you how he loves you. That changes the way that you love yourself, that now self-love takes a different meaning. But when you love yourself correctly and according to how God loves you, your standards change, your, your boundaries change, and they don't come from man. They come from God. And even the way that you respect those boundaries and those standards changes because you're changed. So invite God. Don't do this alone.